Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joe from uh, WildStrategics.com, and um, in this video, I just want to talk about something plain and simple. Just my warrior setup. Now, uh, I want to make this very clear right now. This is not a professional setup thing. It's just for those maybe who want to do PvP and not sure where they're going to start. I'm just going to show you what I did. First thing I want to talk about is the specialization that I chose. Now, um, I started with Fury. But it's not sort of for me, it might be for you, it might not be for you, but for me personally, I didn't enjoy it, I struggled with it. Yeah, so I switched to arms, which I feel more comfortable with. It's simple, you get a lot of damage done. And you don't have to worry about the whole two swords with lower damage because you have two swords aspect. Um, you just get one sword with full damage. And then from that, I moved on to my talent tree. Now, I started off with double time um, because. I prefer being able to charge twice in a row. Uh, in theory, if you're PvP and you charge someone, e.g. a mage, they blink away, you can charge again into them. There you go. You've got them because they can't use blink twice unless somehow. I don't know. But um, secondly, I like sec second wind. Now, um, I used to use enraged regeneration, but I feel as though second wind is better in the long run as if you do get quite low health, you can just heroic leap away, hide, heal, then jump right back into the action which makes things a lot easier now you can go over any of these if different ones if you want this is just what I use and then something you can get a baseline from and go from there now disruption shout I chose this because a warrior only really has pummel to interrupt moves um, and even though it shares a 15 second cooldown with pummel it's still shorter than just using pummel on its own because the cooldown for pummel is 15 seconds because of disrupting shout now, um, I chose that as well. People can be far away from you, you don't have to be right next to them to do it. You can just say if some, a priest is leaping away from you, you can shout it, and then that's it. You've interrupted a healing move or something like that, and they can't use it for four seconds, which gives you time to charge or get a friend to them. <clears throat> Moving on to the 60 talent, um, I chose Blade Storm. I did use Dragon Raw for a while. And then Shockwave, I changed from Dragon Raw because it's good, it stuns them and knocks them back, but I just, prefer, I just don't think it does a lot of damage in general. And Shockwave, I really did like, Shockwave's an alright move and it slows them down as well, so if someone tries to get away from you. And But then finally moves on to Blade Storm, and people have used Word before know Blade Storm is just a very OP move if you used right. If you use um, your stuns, like Colossal Smash and stuff like that to bring their armor down. And then Blade Storm. That's it. You've pretty much turned the tide of the battle with that one. Uh, yeah, it's the easiest thing to do. Now, um, <coughs> level 75 talent. This one took me a while to choose, but I went with my spell reflect because I don't know. I feel as though if with a warrior, it's weaker against the mages and stuff because someone's far away. What's this guy one? Getting out of town. Alright, he's in the video. His tail's in the video. Um, my spell reflecting because if you're against a mage or someone like that, it's easy just to pop that, get that done, and then we can hold it right there and charge back in. So this guy is distracting me completely. There we go. Uh, finally, level 9 talent. And this will change when Wall of comes out, but my level 9 talent is Stormbolt. I used to use Avatar because I could get out of snares and stuff like that and take a lot more damage than usual. But I changed to Stormbolt. Only reason being is I, I like being able to have another stun just to slow someone down who's getting away from me like if a hunter does the escape leap thing disengage that's what it's called if they use that I can throw that at them and hold them still and give me a chance to get get closer to them and that's that's about it for the talents now main moves I use on the bar I uh, I don't really have like a set way of doing it but I like to start off with their mortal strike gets gets up for overpower and when you get like with one more strike you get like three turns of overpower that you can use um, now this works very well if you use <coughs> Colossal Smash uh, yeah I think they're a good combo you can de deal a lot of damage with that as well as if you're against a rogue or someone disarm then do that and there's not much the rogue can pop because the weapons are gone uh, I have died by the sword there because it's easier if you're getting attacked by maybe more than one target just to pop that and maybe pop there, rallying cry, I was looking for it there. Then 
you got a lot of health and you can take more damage so you can hold the fight longer. Um moves I pop before I use Blade Storm. Now uh I pop Recklessness and I also have a trinket called Grievous Gladiator's Battle got a ba badge of victory, god. And this increases your strength by a lot, so you can deal a lot more damage. Again, great to be used with Blade Storm. Can make help you deal so much more damage. Um Trinkets I use on my warrior. It is. I use the Grievous badge, Gladiator's badge of victory, for the strength, and the insignia of victory. Now I like that one more because with a warrior, if you well, if you're a human warrior, you get this trinket already. Every man for himself removes all impaired effects, so you don't need the one that's going to get rid of it for you. So you may as well keep the insignia of victory out. To deal more damage in general. Now, my setup of my warrior, my transmog, I'll go through at a later date. Maybe another video, but for now I'm just going to stick with what moves and stuff I use in a PvP. Now, a move that I probably should use more of is Slam, because I don't use it that much, but it is a good move, especially when used with sweeping strikes as it can spread from different opponents, which is a good move to use, and a move I use a lot like way too much is fear intimidating shout because it's so much easier to help you turn the tide of battle when in trouble or when you think maybe you need it just pop a fear and then you can either run and heal with uh, enrage regeneration no not enrage regeneration with second wind or you can just carry on in the fight it's also good to use if um, when you're arena in if, you get, if you're the first one to get attacked by both enemies you can just pop that push them back and then go for the one you think's a better thing. I'll better one to go for. I will in a future video go through what arena tactics I think are pretty cool as well. Again, not professional, just what I think. Give people somewhere to start. Well, I had something else to talk about that I use a lot. It's on here somewhere. Intervene. And this move I really really just don't use, but you should use it. It's a very good move now. What it is, you can charge to a teammate in an arena or a PvP, or if you put one of your war banners down, you can charge to that. Now, it's a good tactic to use in an arena, as you can throw it down somewhere, fight, and if you need to get away, charge to that and then run. Very good tactic to use, but you got to be quick with the buttons, and uh, like I said, I'm not pro. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is all my warrior video is about. If you want me to talk about anything else that I do within what talents I have, not talents, what professions I do, my transmog, which I will talk about in another video, uh, then let me know and I will go through that, but this is just a short, quick video about my warrior, yeah, so uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in another video, bye.